Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon, and it's still raining. That hurts my soul. <laughs> ah, so guys, last time we tilled all the soil that we need to in Clemens Cave, and this time we're opening up the next dungeon. So, first thing to do is to water our crops, clear the field so, you know, spawns can keep going. Ooh, very nice spawns today. And we also have the eggplants. Which means no more watering here, this is just a good rune factory. It also only costs two to do the charge attack now. Which means it's literally a one-to-one -one scale. If you're doing the charge attack, then it only costs two, which does twice the damage the axe does. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. Skill up. And there's a bunch up here as well. This is fantastic. We're getting really lucky with wood. Normally it takes me forever to get this much. So I was hoping to give the opportunity for these people to be open so I could talk to them. But sadly they're all lame and refuse to work during rain. And it just keeps on raining. So, hey Godwin, we're Good finished. Morning. You really plowed Clemens Cave. Do you really want to go on to the next cave? You should. I'm issuing a pass for Mount G Gigant. I guess it's Gigant. I really am not sure because the first G should be more of a G sound, but Gigant is Gigant is weird. Gigant, I don't know. Gigant. Make use of it. You got a pass for Mount Gigant. Is there a large monster on Mount Gigant too? I'll go and investigate, Raguna. Let me know if you notice anything. You won't do anything. You never do anything. You're just the mayor who gives me stuff once I do a bunch of work for you. And heck, the stuff you give me is all more work. So, eh. So Mount Gigant is a mountain. So where do you go to get to a mountain? You climb a mountain. Let's head back up to Clemens Cave. Actually, let's read the sign first. Clemens Mountain Entrance. Summit offers excellent views. So a Clemens Cave has been where we've been going recently, but instead, let's head up here. Gigant Mountain Trail, unauthorized entry prohibited. Gigant Mountain Climate, eternal summoner created by Molten Magma. Magma, instead of magma, I guess. I don't know. So, Raguna, at long last, you've come to this mountain. At long last, is there something special about this place? Not really, I was just being dramatic. Okay. But I am a little concerned about the recent increase in monsters. Yeah, so am I. You know, the Grimoire is ru rumored to live on top of this mountain. The Grim what? The Grimoire! According to legend, it's a servant of the gods, or maybe even a god itself. Sounds impressive. Well, whatever it is, please be careful. Don't worry, I will. And for some reason, this is one of the few cases where she doesn't go, Oh hey, I forgot this thing! So, as I mentioned, this is summer, which means we can get more bluegrass and purple grass. It is fantastic for that. If you want to grow summer crops, um... I have a hard time recommending either this cave or Clemens, because there's just so few water sources in either of the caves. I'm not a huge fan, to be honest. Um, if you really want to grow crops that either take a huge amount of time, like the shadow crops, or the phantom crops, I should say, or you want to, you know, go out of your way to just grow them year-round, make a rune factory, whatever, I'll show the best location for that. But just know that you probably want a better water pot than you currently have. I've been trying to upgrade my water pot so I'd actually get there, but uh, apparently it's just not happening. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, if you're taking on this cave, or I guess this mountain in this case, there's some mining to do down here, and enemies this way. You want to take care of the enemies going this way first, that way you don't end up forgetting them. Spider, HP 88, attack 52, defense 11. They can critically hit you, their attacks are water-based, and they have a chance of poisoning you. When killed, they drop strong string and pretty string. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant. Okay. There we go. More enemies right up here. Flower Blossom, HP 88, attack 57, defense 7. Their attacks are wind-based. They cast Sword Storm, which has a chance of stealing you. They will absorb HP based on the damage they deal to you. 
When killed, they drop roots, green crystal seeds, and red crystal seeds. Should you tame them, they'll act as combatant. These are pretty much baby Reflesia. I don't actually remember their official name, but know that they can poison and seal you. Be very careful. And here's our cow. These are Buffamoo, I believe they're called? Buffamoo. HP 97, attack 62, defense 9. They can critically hit you. Their attacks are fire-based, and they have a power attack. When killed, they can drop small milk. Should you tame them, they'll act as livestock, producing milk for you. Skill up, nice. So this is, I think, one of the two water sources in this entire dungeon. You can mine here, you can get water, and for now, let's head back to the entrance. You can pick up water here and then teleport back to the entrance to head the other path, which is about how you're going to be watering. You can either grow crops here, just heading up that path to get water and then head back here. And I just realized I never pulled up my sword. Big Mushroom, also known as Big Mush or Big Muck. HP 95, attack 62, defense 11. Their attacks are earth-based and they have a chance of inflicting poison. When killed, they can drop spores and arrow elements. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant. Okay, be careful of these enemies. I believe they can both poison and paralyze you. We actually just got a drop. It's very nice. We got spores. Spores are a crafting material. If you don't care about crafting at all, then, you know, throw it away, but otherwise keep it. It's pretty nice for that. Okay. Like I mentioned last episode, this area is a bit of a maze, so even I still get confused and I've played this a few times. Weagle. HP 94, attack 59, defense 10. Their attacks are wind-based, they can inflict paralysis, and they absorb HP based on the damage they deal to you. When killed, they can drop bird wings, wind crystals, and arrow elements. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant. I actually pretty much spent every day a couple months ago in this dungeon just, you know, farming and doing other things. So if we head up in this little cave up here, these are some nice fields. There's no monsters or anything, but this is actually a really good place to set up a rune factory if you can get to the nearby water sources. We will not be taking care of all these fields for now. I just wanted to break that one. Made me feel better about going in there and not doing anything. Furpy, also known as Fur Puff or Fur Wari, HP 83, attack 56, defense 8. Their attacks can topple you. When killed, they drop quality skin and flare elements. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Also, they're adorable. Okay. These are just upgraded chip squeaks, or Reno, or whatever they were called. More fields that you can clear, and you can save right up here should you need to. Now, let's head east more of these bird enemies. I don't think they inflict any statuses? I might be wrong on that. So before you head up, you definitely want to head down here first. Use your water pot to open up the path over here. Cluckadoodle. HP 87, attack 55, defense 12. Their attacks are wind-based, conflict paralysis, and will absorb HP based on how much damage they deal to you. When killed, they can drop bird wings and wind crystals. Should you tame them, they'll act as combatant. And here's your second water source. There's cockadoodles down here. I think these are cockadoodles, at least. There we go. And this is the other water source of the dungeon. You can mine up here, you can get water, and you can just run over here should you need to to actually set up your farm. Before I forget, let's switch back and start fighting. We're not that close to level 29, so I might not be doing the entire dungeon right now. Probably should have prepared better, but eh, whatever. Sure, it's fine. I'm sure you guys already know if I'm doing the dungeon or not, because I'll have, you know, been doing all the bios for all the enemies. More of these guys. Remember, status ailments are kind of their MO. Wow, that... Oh. We got a green cry seed. We got a phantom crop. Okay, green cry seeds. Let's go into this right now. Here we are. 
Uh, green Christ seeds. Plant in summer. Requires time to grow. Green crystal like seeds. They only you or no, they're not very worth much, but they take a hundred days to grow. They're one of those phantom crops I mentioned that I will be taking care of at some point. Um, what I might do is I might upgrade my watering can a couple times, then plant these and just keep them in this dungeon, growing them forever. Um, it's going to take us the rest of the year, but, you know, I want to show off all the crops, so my, uh, cross to bear, I guess? I don't know. Buffalo, HP 100, attack 67, defense 12. They can critically hit you, their attacks are fire-based, and they have a power attack. Should you jam them, they can act as a mount for you to ride into battle, and as a normal combatant. Okay. These guys are essentially bulls. I do not believe they can produce any milk or anything, but I believe they can give you bull horns, which is someone's favorite item. I don't remember who. It might be the doctor, Edward. Womp. Grab these while I'm here, since I don't have a huge stock of these. And keep on moving on. Okay, these enemies, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but they can poison you very easily. Be very careful. Okay. Let's keep on going. This area is full of huge enemies and enemies that love giving status ailments. It's either one or the other. If it's big, it probably doesn't give you a status ailment. And I missed one somewhere. I knew I was going to do that. I know exactly where I did it, actually. Ah, crap. I can't believe I've done this. Okay, we're going to have to head all the way back here. Keep on going. Seriously, this place is kind of a winding maze. It's awful if you miss something. On this screen somewhere, apparently. Up top right. Right up here. Yep, here it is. Now, in here are just more fields. Pretty nice place if you want to grow a huge amount of crops. Just keep all this in mind. If nothing else, it's a fantastic place to clear and just get a huge amount of wood. Starting at this point, you can start getting a giant amount. And I think that was the last spawner. I knew I was going to forget one of the ones on that screen, but I, for some reason, I'm like, oh no, I'll, I'll get it. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. Also, if I were to have killed one more enemy, I would have leveled up, and at that point, I might have just taken on the boss. Oh well, probably tomorrow. I'm sure that's fine. Actually, we could still do it today. Yep. Alright, let's head out of here. I might actually just... Yeah, I think I'm going to head over to Melody's uh, bathhouse and start healing up. Let's do this. I figured that would be a lot of fun to take care of today. Or, actually, I still wouldn't be able to talk to everyone about Clemens, though. Hello. Say, does Miss come by often? I mean, not that I care or anything. You know how to use a sword, Raguna. Hey, maybe it used to be any... Uh, we've actually read that one. Hey, Raguna, what kind of food do you like? I love corn on the cob myself. Don't forget. This is your fourth pass? Amazing. Thinking about it, how are we doing? Well, we're actually starting to become friends with everyone little by little. And uh, Sharon has us at two hearts now. That's very nice. Melody's at one. If something were to happen to you, Raguna, I'd, I'd just be careful, okay? Oh, I hear there's some really strong monsters that might mount gigant. Do be careful. While we're here... Can you make me a potion? Just in case. Because I remember what enemy this is, and... I'm not sure if it'll be as easy as I'm making it out to be. 
I want to get a couple of these just because I'm actually out. Actually, I'll get four of them, just like I did last time. Brings us down to 15,000. Oh, these are actually level two green cry seeds. Nice. We're almost at 20,000 now, which means we're about at 10%. Not bad, considering how much I'm rushing through this all. Please, do come in. According to what I've found in our records, the Sex Empire has the world's most advanced machine technology. Devices in the caves that summon monsters? Yes, it is highly probable the Empire built them. That's not what we want to hear. Do you like to read books too, Raguna? I love picture books. You love everything. You are adorable and sweet and everyone should love you. I'm so happy. Hello. Savior doesn't seem to like baths much. What do you think about that? Hey, it's good to head off to the caves, but you should take a bath here sometime. Speaking of, that's actually why I'm here. How does it feel to fight a monster? I've never ventured in Mount Gigant. I wonder what kind of monsters live there. A lot, a huge amount of them have status ailments. It's pretty awful. And kind of a maze. Come on in. Don't forget to pray every day. Nothing is more important. I didn't eat anything interesting recently. How about you? Pickles? Wow. Mr. Jasper has been in a pretty bad mood recently. Hello. Oh, you're off to Mount Gigant this time. Don't get yourself killed. Mount Gigant? You're not going to go there, are you? Hello. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> That's the problem. We're both a bunch of lovers. Wait. It'll be a hundred years until a young greenhorn like you can have a drink, I... No, Gigante, that place reeks of danger. Yeah, I'm actually about to kill the boss monster, probably tonight. What, you're going to New Cave again? A railman would go to the ocean. Listen, if there were an ocean dungeon, I'd be all on that. I love the water, but not in this game. You're thinking of Mystery Dungeon, a game I still haven't done the post-game for. What? Good evening. Hi? The mountains are so beautiful. I love this place. I come here a lot by myself. I especially like the mountains on rainy days like today. Everyone says I'm crazy, though. I actually didn't know she came up here during rainy days. She must have been the one I've seen yesterday. The mountains are... Yeah, okay. Okay, run to the end of this dungeon. Running around at the speed of sound. No place to go, got to follow my rainbow. <sighs> this is risky because I didn't save. But I'm gonna do it anyway! Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Just to be sure. Um, potions, at the ready. A dragon? Raguna! Miss, so the Grimoire is actually a dragon? I'm not sure, but that dragon looks hostile. You're right. You better get back. Okay. Grimoire. HP 999. Defense 10. Magic defense 16. Fire defense 100. Wood defense 60. Earth defense 50. Water defense 15. This monster can use a tail sweep, which can hit a wide arc around them. Their bite will hit directly in front of them. They have a fire breath that creates three fireballs in front of them. They have an advanced sword storm that creates many wind blades. The best way to dodge this is to get some distance between Raguna and the Grimoire. When in critical mode, he will cast Inferno, filling the arena with lava. During the first phase, be sure to dodge his hits as much as you can, but during its critical phase, be more aggressive. The Inferno can hit you anywhere and deals a fair bit of damage, so be very careful. So this big guy, he has a lot of attacks. He can swing at you like that bite at you, shoot you with that which not only knocks you over, but also can, I believe, paralyze you. Alright, you can knock him back a bit, which is always appreciated. Makes this boss in a way easier, but also more difficult than a lot of bosses. There we go. Just stay away from him when he's doing the swing attack. He a swings and he a misses. Uh, missed. What bad timing. <laughs> Come 
on, swing at me. Skill up mid battle, okay. And there's the fire attack I'd been waiting for. Okay. And I miss, of course, right then. Okay, apparently if you need to, you can actually tank the hit. Ah, I got hit by the end of it. And now he's in hyper mode. I had fire everywhere. That's the attack that's awful. Okay, and he's about done. Done. Level up. His attacks are fairly easy to actually get around. If you're not high level like I am, the fire everywhere attack is awful. It is pretty much a run killer if you don't have the extra potions or anything. You got a Grimoire scare Scale. <clears throat> Man, I kind of just cheesed that up. Yeah, you remember how uh, he mentioned, oh hey, yeah, I always wanted to make a Grimoire sword. And I've always said that, oh hey, most bosses don't drop anything. Here's the exception, because there's always an exception to every rule. Raguna, are you alright? I think so. I'm so relieved. So that was the Grimoire, right? I can't say for sure, but I can see how a dragon might be considered a servant of the gods. I can't argue with you there. In any case, is it it's it is just a legend, so no no one knows for sure. Wow, I just ba 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 ba. Right. Okay, I'm gonna head back now. How about you, Raguna? I think I'll go back too. Why don't we go back together then? Sure. This is different. For a good reason. <laughs> An actual dragon came here. This is gonna be better than expected. I believe it's safe to say the plant has entered its final stage. <laughs> Well, I'm going back on home. Do be careful, Raguna. Right. So, yeah. That's how we beat Grimoire, quote unquote. That thing was a dragon. And the only reason it didn't beat us up is because, honestly, we're a bit overpowered. <laughs> uh, We've kind of just went haywire, foobar, whatever weight you want, and I've just gotten way overpowered where I need to be. I normally have a huge amount of trouble with that boss, having to stock two potions, maybe even bring extra stuff, but that was kind of pathetic. And it's partially due to my level, and also partially due to the fact that, you know, I know now I don't have to do everything. I can leave the dungeon, come back, and it's easier. Everything became a lot easier when I realized that. Okay, no drops. Uh, next screen, right. Once we get to the next screen, we're just going to head into the cave and start working in there. I have a huge amount of lumber to gather, after all. Skill up once again. Oh, that's all of them? Okay, let's clear everything out here. Okay, these fields are now clear. Level up, that's actually fantastic.
we do not have a huge amount of time, which means I'm probably not going to get to the other field in time. Nope, it would not seem so. You know what, while we're here, let's crack open a few rocks. An earth crystal, that is fantastic. Gold, another fantastic thing. Scrap iron, less than fantastic to be honest. Another earth crystal, I actually didn't realize there was a field down here. Okay, we've got to get out of here right now. I overstayed my welcome by about 10 minutes. I'm not sure we're going to make it. We might be showing off the fatigue status now. Oh, barely. That's fantastic. Awesome. Okay, uh, guys... I'm going to call it quits here. I'm going to put everything away and just head to bed. So guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, we're done with Mount Gigant, and we're going to have a bit of a stop before we can do the next uh, dungeon. We'll get into that next time. So guys, I'll see you all then. Goodbye.